Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ. We're back for another Patch Tuesday, July this time. Uh, we took a sharp turn. We've had a lot of mild months, nothing real bad. This month, 132 patches closed, 9 critical, and 6. 6 that are already exploited out in the wild. That just feels like uh, it's an egregious number. On the bright side, of the 6 that have already been exploited, none of them are listed as critical, only as important. So if they've breached you with this exploit already, just know it's not critical. So going into it, we're going to dive into a couple of 9.8s first. The first one being the 2023-32057. Uh, this is the message queue. This is one that we had last month as well. Comes in 9.8. It's a remote attack vector. No user action required. No privileges needed. Uh, the reason it is listed as less likely to be exploited is because the message queuing system is not installed by default. So if you haven't used that anywhere, you're safe. You don't need to worry about anything. If you're not sure if you have, you can either do a search on your systems for the message queuing service, or you can look to see if it is listening, listening on TCP port 1801. Uh, for the other one, this one's 35365. This is the other 9.8. All the same, all the same threats of network, no user interaction, no, no privileges required. Uh, but this one is basically the RAS, or the remote access server. So if you're not using that, that is another one that's not on by default. You're safe. If you are, if you have any of them that are using the remoting and remote access server, pretty sure I got that, then uh, you are you're, uh, probably need to patch sooner than later. Uh, when coming up on the third one, it was interesting because I figured we got the 9.8, so I'll get one that has already been exploited. And the one I went with was the 24932, which is only a 6.2 on the CVSS, which means they have to be local and it needs a high level of admin privilege. They have to be admins, basically. The reason I'm doing this one is this one is both actively exploited and was already known. It was known because this was patched back in May, but there's further steps that need to go to get the complete protection. So the steps for this one, you have to have patched with either this month or last month. And then you also have to go through and you have to make changes to uh, boot manager because this is hacks the secure boot uh, So either if you're using OEM or you download you need to download the latest media for that one instead of using the current ones if you Are building your own custom ones. You want to rebuild those and exclude the, the types that are broken There is a link for that which we'll put There it will give you the steps that you can go through and you can fix your boot media to make sure that one's secure So that one is technically pretty low risk 6.2 and it's local only but just because it's been around for so long and it requires steps past just patching, I figure it's worth bringing up. And that's pretty much everything we got for Patch Tuesday. Uh, patch your systems. If you're automating it, hopefully you're using PDQ Deploying Inventory because we're awesome. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.